Yo, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to preview uh, skin and sticker crafts just really, really easily in-game. Uh, it lets you kind of just see what you're maybe about to buy, you know, whether it be stickers, skins, crafts, like whatever. Uh, just a really convenient way. So all you want to do is open up your web browser of choice, whatever it might be. Go to csinspect.com slash custom stickers, which I'll have linked in the description. Hit select a skin. You know, pick whatever skin you want. So I'm going to use the Chrome can in this example. Uh, then just pick whatever sticker, right? So you could do like the, you know, liquid fire hollow, for example. You could drag them around, rotate them around, do whatever you want to them. So let's just say I wanted, I don't know, like two liquid fires on the scope like this. Just kind of off the front here, just to see how that looks. I don't actually know if this will end up looking any good, but yeah, why not test it out? Uh, then just scroll down to the bottom here, hit try in server. Uh, pick any of these. I generally just use the community hub one, but any of these maps and stuff should work. And when you hit open in Steam, you'll see in the background, it just started loading into uh, the custom map. And while that's happening uh, right here, you want to hit generate via CS2 inspects. And then you'll have a command here that copy via CS2 inspects. And it'll copy this little uh, message for you to paste in the chat. And once you load to the server, which hopefully I should soon, uh, then I can go just paste that message in the chat and it'll equip the weapon and I'll be able to like walk around with it in game on the little custom server that got set up here. You can see right I could pick like T side, just go into the chat, paste that shit in, and there you go. You can see there's there's the chrome cannon with the two liquid fires in the front. It doesn't look as good as I initially thought it might, but still pretty cool nonetheless to be able to like test it out and all that. And you can just do this for any weapon, right? And you could also change the weight. So, for example, uh, let's say I want to, I don't know, add a third sticker, because I feel like Liquid Fire is probably a bad demo for that. But I'll just say I want to add a random lenticular sticker, like the dystopian gaze or whatever. I just, I'll just throw that, like, in the middle of the weapon, just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, and then generate that in real quick. You can see just paste and shed again to get the, you know, now you can see it on the middle of the gun there. And let's say I want to see it scratched off a little bit. Uh, all you have to do is go back to the site. And on the site right here, uh, this value of zero is how scratched it is. You go from zero to one. Uh, one is all the way scratched off. So something like 0 0.7, I think it's seven scrapes or something like that. You can also add in little weapon charms or whatever. So if I want to add like a little purple AK weapon charm, uh, I can add that in as well. Although that one, I guess, doesn't work yet. doesn't load in. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I'm going to have it there anyway, just in case it shows up somewhere. But yeah, uh, hit generate, hit copy, paste it in. And you can see, that, right, the sticker in the middle, the one I just scratched, is now more scratch. And it's just a really easy way of testing out your crafts. Uh, that's how I decided to go and buy this Glock. This one's not generated in. I, I did this craft myself. You know, got the stickers, got the skin, all that, purely because I was able to test it out on the server, and I think it looks pretty neat. Looks really nice, depending on the lighting. There's also, you know, multiple things of lighting in the server. Generally, you're going to be in shadows like this, so generally test out your skins in the shadows here, because this is where you're going to see most of the time in-game. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys found this useful, or if maybe, like, the website change or something, warn people in the comments, because it, it, it should be free, it should always be accessible, you shouldn't have to sign in or anything to use it. Uh, it should always just kind of work. And with that being said, hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.